Let's talk about this big old nothing burger of a set of banners. Because in all honesty, I feel like I'm just being very negative about Genshin Impact. But until Natland comes around, uh, I really don't see a lot of positive. And it's not to say that, you know, everything's bad. There are some good things about this, especially if you're a new player. Um, but I definitely don't want to hide my true feelings about uh these set of banners so today we're going to be talking about that before we get into that make sure to hit that like subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell to be notified of when the next get Your impact video comes out and of course i'm sponsored by the ever wonderful gamer subs use code tystra for 10 percent off if you couldn't tell i was just relaxing today uh i my room is a little bit messy and i was gonna clean it but i was like you know what i deserve a day off today from work and doing all this other stuff i'm gonna go ahead and just relax i i played you know, get an impact today. I actually did. I got all the Simulanka stuff done. So I am caught up completely. Like we're good. All events caught up on canvas caught up on. Uh, and then I start playing ZZZ. I'm caught up on the story. Everything's all good. And then I get this, I get this little thingy coming around. So we're going to talk about it. Let me go ahead and get a swig of my copium real quick. Because that's what these banners are. Bunch of copium, right? So let's go ahead and talk about the first unit that I want to speak on, which I think is the most valuable four star on the set of banners. And it's going to work very, very well in regards to Natland as well. And that's going to be Zhangling. And why do I say that? Well, Zhangling has been basically one of the staple four stars that your account should have uh, since the start of the game. That's just apparent. It's just how it's been. Um, Zhangling is so good. As a four star and i highly recommend that any person uh go for jangling and even go for constellations of jangling because she's just that dang good she is an account enhancer by far uh off field dps for pyro able to use guoba uh she like twirls her spear around to do pyro damage and of course with emily here and probably future units that are coming which are like dendro Kanich, uh who's coming out uh and then pyro you know archon that's coming out there's a lot of utility in regards to burn that might just show up. And for me, burn and Bergeron have a lot of possibility. The possibilities are endless. That's all I'm going to say. Because Dendro is a very strong typing and Pyro is a very strong typing. However, burn and Bergeron haven't been that powerful comparatively to other reactions, right? So with Emily coming out and being you know kind of that burn character that we're getting Zhangling, i think has a lot of potential to be you know that one great unit for you right if you're a new player and you're coming into this banner and you haven't pulled a Zhangling, you need to get you need to summon on this banner for Zhangling. however i will say that a lot of people have pulled Zhangling, and in fact you could actually get a free Zhangling, i believe still from uh you know doing your spiral abyss so there's the only problem is that you do get jangling, but I do think that constellations and jangling is fantastic. How many times can I say jangling in 30 seconds, right? Now, another really good four star that I want to talk about, and yes, we're on Twitter doing this. Yeah, you see the little icons. It is what it is. Um, but another good four star from here that doesn't show off quite as often is Yanfei. And I do think Yanfei is good, right? Don't get me wrong. She has very good dps potential however there are a lot of pyro dps's as is so to me she kind of gets scaled back uh we just like two updates ago got arlecchino and most people summoned an arlecchino from what i was see from what i was seeing um if you didn't summon an arlecchino that's crazy to me right <laughs> but yanfei is a good four star pyro dps if you're going for that right um it doesn't necessarily mean that she's a must summon because I do feel that as a four star, she kind of is like in the middle. You know, she's not like a great, great four star, but she's definitely not somebody that you could just be like, if you're summoning on these banners and you pull her, she's definitely not somebody that you're pulling for. But if you do get her, she has a lot of potential. Um, but that's about it is potential. I really don't think that she's like the shining star of this banner. In fact, I think it's Zhang Ling. You know who I don't think it is? Razor. Razor is terrible. Razor's just trash. I don't care what anybody says. Um, my personal opinion is Razor sucks. Razor absolutely sucks compared to a lot of Electro DPS characters. It, even Sino, who's like his big brother, basically. 
um, because they have the same eye color and same hair. And I know a lot of people are like, but that doesn't mean that they're related. But nine times out of 10, like a lot of people, a lot of those same people are going to be like, well, this character and this character are related. But I digress. That's another that's another video for another time. That that annoys me, but I digress. Um, <laughs> Razor's terrible. Razor's bad. Do not summon for Razor unless you are really that dedicated to like Wolf Boy. Uh, Wolf Boy is just whatever. He's just terrible. <laughs> but I do find it funny how, how similar he is to Sino. And that's the main like joke that I have is like, oh, Sino's just the more mature Razor. Um, but yeah. Razor's trash. Sorry. Uh, I was, I'm dealing with like a throat thing and it's just like, ugh, you know, it's gross. <laughs> now, let's talk about Yelon. Now, you know how we made the comparison of Razor and uh, Sino just a second ago, right? Yelon and Zingsho basically do the same exact stuff. The only difference is, is that Yelon's E is able to do a lot more damage of a single use. And it ties all like enemies together. And when you activate it, it brings them all uh, into like each other just about so that you could do a lot more uh, DPS in the AOE. Um, but she's good. Like her, her damage in general as an off field DPS is really, really good. So if you were not like, if you wanted an off field DPS type of team, like let's say you pull Yanfei and then you get uh, Zhangling and Yelon. That's a really good like three team in my personal opinion, with, without getting like a shielder or a healer or somebody to support. Um, because you get uh, like burst into Zhangling, burst into Yelon, and then go into Yanfei and just start doing oodles and boodles of basic attack damage. Um, it's not like amazingly amazing. Vape is not, I, I look at Vape and I'm like, it's really good, but it's not like aggravate. But if you're going to use like Vape, these would be like two of these characters would be two of the characters that you would use for vape at least from what i've seen um and from what i've used uh yanfei definitely not the case but i'm i'm getting a little like like tangenty about this uh Zhangling and Ye yelon are really good together and um i th i think that if you were to summon for yelon i wouldn't fault you for it uh should you summon for emily uh it's tough it's very tough to say because uh emily is you know, kind of the burn off field DPS from what I'm seeing. Uh, she's going to work very well with Kanich, I'm pretty sure, once he releases. And if you put her in tandem, uh, Kanich being your main DPS, if if that's what he's going to be, quote unquote, this is all speculation. Uh, if, if you go with Kanich as a main DPS uh, when he releases, if that is his uh, kit, and you put Emily there and you put Zhangling and maybe you put a Bennett in the back, uh, I think a burn team might do really, really good. Um, there's a lot of potential there. Now, uh, that being said, do you need Emily? 100% you do not. Uh, em the burn is not needed. If you're like me and you're summoning for characters because of uniqueness, then yes, you would summon for Emily just like me. I will be summoning for Emily just because I want to experience burn. I want to see what I could do with the burn reaction. I like doing the different tactical stuff. Um, but if I, if I were just a regular casual player as hot as, uh, Emily is, I would not summon for Emily. <laughs> like if you're going to summon for a five star of this patch, I think that Yelon is your better option, especially going into Natlan. Uh, you want really good off field DPSs <sighs> to help you out with your experience overall in the game. So should you summon for Yelon? Uh, actually... To be perfectly honest with you, I wouldn't summon for either one of these characters right now because this four star pool is not that great, except for Jangling. Yanfei, again, is meh. Could be good, could be bad, depending on what you need for your account. And then Razor's just terrible. Uh, and then Yelon and Emily. Uh, Yelon is a really, really good unit. One of the best units in the game. However, the four star pool doesn't actually like provide a lot of worth especially going into Natlan, right? And then Emily, while could be good, could also be bad. It's a very big gamble. So uh, for me, I would just say if you're going to summon, save your primos for Natlan because it's just around the corner. Um, but yeah, that's that's really all I've got to say about it. Um, 
nothing burger of banners in my personal opinion but i'm still gonna summon for the um, for emily uh so stay tuned for those emily summons on my end but let me know in the comments down below what you think are you excited for these banners or are you going to wait for you know kanich and uh uh Malau malani malani maulani uh are you gonna wait for them in uh you know 5.0 natland so let's get this test of signing off thanks so much love you to death and as always we will catch you in that next video please take care and be safe